Let's take a look at some hexatone basics. Right now I have one oscillator active, you see number two. If I hit the play icon, it begins the path of number two. The reason it's only going in one direction and not going elsewhere in the field is because with the grid, I was able to black out the little cells that are right next to it. So let's go back to the sound button and hit that. Now to hear sound, what I need to do is with that pressed, I can press on one of the cells and that will begin to trigger a sample on that cell. Let's put a cell there, a cell there, and maybe one more here. Now that that's running, let's use some of the modifiers. Here's the idea. You can press the cells button, and now all the things on the bottom are possible. You can do a slice of the sample, and there's a bunch of choices for slice. Now that we chose that, let's pick which sample we want to be sliced. How about this one? And it fills with a little icon inside there. Now let's pick a re-trigger. So now we can say, I want this one to re-trigger. So here. But Finally, there's various wait times. So if we go here and we choose wait, I can put a wait on this cell and it'll change the rhythm. That's pretty cool. So those are some hexatone basics.